This is Sticky Fishy Fishing, just down here at Nelson Bay Breakwall. Thought I'd come down for a quick fish. Gonna try to catch some uh, fish for me mate and his family so they can have a feed of some fresh fish. All right, let's see if we can get a few for them. All right guys, just got some fresh cabbage here for bait. And in here I got some sand with some little bits of cabbage mixed up together. Chuck that in for Burley, bring him around. Just fishing a size 10 hook. What I do is hook it through one side back out the other put a half hitch around the top and then you're ready to go I like that light green crinkly long stuff like that I find's the best works well and when I fish at the break wall I fish about 10 foot deep I find is the best A bit of burly out there and we're fishing this is one of my homemade floats that i made if you want to see how i make them uh, i've got a video on it that i brought out a couple of videos back if you want to check that out i will also leave a little drawing at the end of the videos showing how i rig up it's just like a little drawing of the rig that i use so you can check that out as well and i'll leave the um, gear that i use in the description below in the video so you know what tackle I'm using. Rod, reel, line, hooks, all that kind of stuff. Where's all the fish at? Perfect conditions. I thought they would have been biting good today if this overcast. Just wonder I haven't caught one yet. Might be a bit quiet. Here we go. Floats down. I don't know how we're going to go on this, he's a long way down the wall. Oh, pulled the hooks on him. Alright, let's see if we can get one this time. Don't want to be losing him. A bit more belly. Oh, that's a fish. It's a good one too.
He's a monster, eh? Hey? Yeah. He's an absolute monster, that one. Oh, he's about 42, that one. 42 centimetre fish. He's a real good one. Put him deep down there so he doesn't escape. I was fishing at 10 foot deep and then I went up to 12. I thought they might be just down a little bit deeper. So I adjusted it up to 12 foot. And I got a bite, missed it, and then I threw it back out and got that big one. So that's not a bad fish. A few more of them will be good. See if we can get another. A little burly. Hopefully that depth change might have made a difference. Need this current to die a bit. It's just way too quick. It should start dying off soon. Usually when it's running this hard, it's like the last of it. I don't know what the tides are today. I should have a look actually. Like that's already miles down there. I'm getting a bite though. Yep. Fish on. bad one he's not big but he's not bad he'll do him he swam in the net that one there we go there we caught a fish and we even got some salad to go with it at the same time two for one deal can't go wrong with that goes to show the depth change did make a lot of difference They're just sitting down the other day i was getting them at 10 foot but today they're down around that 12 foot mark you wouldn't think going down a couple of foot would make much difference but seems to be doing the job see how big he goes 35er not as big as that last donkey that we got but still a good fish make sure you bleed them too if you catch them guys they taste a lot better it's just not happening and today very quiet caught two fish lost one had a few bites it's very very quiet everyone else on the wall struggling too it's just terrible it must be just one of them days where they just don't want to bite and if you do get a bite and you want in your bait's still there it's like they're just real timid. So, so timid. It's unbelievable how timid they are. I thought they were biting bad the other day. Today's taking the cake. Like, I'm getting a bite now, way down there, and it's just like, it's mucking around for it. There we go, it's going under. Oh, I got one. I've got one, which is a miracle. <laughs> I 
that float that was just picking at it for so long it finally went under oh Get in the net, son. Get in the net. There we go, there we got another fish. He's not a big one, but he's legal. See how big he goes. They look small, but then you measure them and they're bigger than what you think. He's actually 32. He's a 32 centimeter fish. He's a keeper. He's in the bucket. I changed spots too. Cause there was nothing biting up there where I got the first two. So I thought I'd come down here and see if I can get some. Alright, we got three. See if we can get another one. It's been long between bites. When I was down there, I was fishing 10 foot. Got nothing, went down to 12 and got two, and I thought oh, yeah, I've cracked the pattern. But then struggled to get another fish after it. It's a running tide. I prefer to run out tidy myself. But it doesn't really matter what tide if they're on. When they're on, you can fish here any tide, and you'll smash them. Oh, I'm on. That was weird. I just went to wind my line in. There's a fish on it. <laughs> it's funny as. No, well, he's gone. So I didn't have him hooked that good day because I didn't ever see my float go down. I just went to wind it in. He was on there, so he was probably just about to take it. If I waited another 10 seconds, I would have got a hook set on him. But that's fishing at its best. Take it. Might be a rock. Oh, no, it's a fish. He's just sitting on it again. That's how timid they are. They just sit on top of it. You don't even know they're on. Your float goes half down, you think it's caught on a rock. And the next minute you lift up and there's a fish. That's two fish in a row that's done that. Hopefully, I can get this one. Because I would add five by now. Come here, mate. Come into the net, my little friend. I don't like nets, do they? Oh, come on, buddy. Got another one. There's four. Finally. Alright, there we go there. Number four. Another nice fish. Probably around the 30 mark. Four fish. If I didn't lose that last one, I would add the five that I wanted. I only want to catch five fish. Sometimes how hard can it be to catch five fish? Extremely hard. Oh, I'm gonna have to go in a second. Clean these fish. I got four anyway. It weren't too bad for a very terrible day. Fish just looking at your bait. 
not eating it. Very slow day, very, very slow. That's it, I lost my leader. Oh, I lost my sinkers and everything. What? Just lost a lot. Just got snagged and um, snapped my sinkers off, which is a bad day. But I'm out of here, guys. Ended up with four fish, so that's all right. I'll give them to me, mate. And um, I might even come back tomorrow and try to catch myself some. So I'll get him a couple more if I come back in the morning and we'll have a couple of extra fish then, which will be good. But four is a good feed for them anyway. I'll fill it and skin them up for them so they get a good feed. All right, guys, ended up getting four fish for me mate and his family for a feed. I tried getting five, but couldn't get that extra one I dropped two which didn't help but I got four nice ones there for a feed that big one there is 43 centimeters and he's heavy that's a very nice fish so anyway four fish is good you mate will get a feed out of them not too bad at all all right guys ended up getting four good fish weren't too bad so if you like this video hit the like button share subscribe thanks for watching I'll see you next time cheers Sticky fishing fishing.